Okay, so I guess we're back? Yeah, we're back. Okay, so I just recorded this whole video, and uh, joke's on me, I wasn't actually recording, I was streaming to my secondary Twitch channel. Today I wanted to talk about playing when you're low HP, what you can do uh, when you basically just get naded down by a fucking raise that just throws her grenades in a random ass part of the map and they happen to hit you and you just get fucking shit on and tagged super hard randomly for absolutely no fucking reason uh so here's what you can do now given this is very situational and i will point that out because uh there is healing in this game but if your sage is dead and you have no way of actually healing then this is the play style you can actually take up if you're attacking and you need to somehow get into the bomb site uh what you can do on low hp is you can say hey team i'm basically fucking useless right now bait me and you can just you can tell your team make sure they're behind you so you don't just do this for no fucking reason because i noticed uh, a lot of times when i take first peek i end up dead and my team's just fucking vibing in the back of the map so you can take the peek and uh, you can try and clear out as many angles as you can and try and get any picks if possible. And you're basically just that bait. You're basically the fucking Phoenix out for the team. So people can actually follow you in and uh, you have some use to you. You're not, you're not just completely fucking useless. Uh, another thing you can do, you could take an angle back here where you're just sitting back here. You could literally just sit in the back of the map and just wait for people to push through. Uh, that's another way you can play because you're really not much use to your team when you're super low on hp you have two fucking health and a fly could breathe on you and kill you another thing you can do is you can also if your team let's use the example that they're hitting a and a short you can slowly work your way through different parts of the maps and this takes a lot of game sense to actually know when people are rotating but you can just kind of sneak your way in behind the rotates and try and pick pick up a frag that way so you can just basically lurk if any of you know what lurking is you can basically just lurk in behind them and try and get a free kill that way uh another thing you can do is you can ask your team for the op and you can try and take an over aggressive peak where basically you know there's somebody right here here and you want to actually peek them uh so you have low hp you're one shot no matter what so you take the op engagement and you try and get the shot off on him if you are CT side and you're extremely tagged up, you can just play a passive angle with the op. You can fall back to site and just keep holding different angles with the op, trying not to die, trying to get as many picks as you can. Or same goes for CT side. If you do get tagged up and you know there's someone here, another opper, uh, mainly, you could just take the engagement, take the over aggressive pick, maybe try and balance the odds back into your favor. Now, another way that is really useful to actually play if you are tagged is to take a headshot angle so if there is a player up here and you know there's a player up here you could take this headshot angle right here and you could wait for them to actually peek you and you could get a pretty free kill uh given it's not 100 free but it, there is a way better chance of you getting a kill in a position where you are at a headshot advantage than um if you're just standing out in the open on super low hp Headshot angles are extremely strong when you are on low health, or not not necessarily extremely strong, but they're way fucking safer than if you are on um if you're on low health and you try and take an engagement in the open, you are way more likely to die than if you're taking a headshot angle. So it basically just gets your usefulness back a little bit to the point where you can potentially get one more kill. There are a lot of spots on this map that you can do it at. Like right here, you could do it if you're attacking on T side, and you can do it over there if you're CT side. Uh, you can take a one and done position, which is something I specifically stated not to do, but if you're on low health, that changes it up drastically. Uh, you're basically just a homeless man trying to scrape as much together as he can before he fucking dies. And... <sighs> Oof, uh, maybe... Oh, uh, yeah, we'll go with it. Okay, that's a good... Yeah, that's a good uh, example, I guess, of what you're trying to accomplish when you are on low HP and you have no way of recovering. You're basically just trying to scrape as much together as you possibly can to have an impact on the round before you actually die. So this is a very short video, probably like five or six minutes, but I just wanted to actually talk about it real quick because there are ways you can actually accomplish things on low health and uh, going out and dying is not really accomplishing much. So you should try and shift the odds back in your favor or scrape together a little bit of damage or potentially land yourself a kill before dying. So that's really all I wanted to cover. It's a very short video, very basic video. So if you guys enjoyed, Go ahead and leave a like on the video. Uh, tomorrow I have a uh, beginner's guide coming out sometime in the morning. And that's going to teach you exactly how to play as a beginner player. Uh, 
it's it's pretty base level and i know a lot of you guys on this channel that have found me aren't really that base and you you actually know how to play the game pretty well but if they're hey if you got like friends that are new to the game go ahead and send it to them but i go over a little bit more in depth of what you should be looking for when you're trying to actually start playing this game and there are some things that i do quite obviously miss when i'm explaining stuff because it's just very basic stuff uh so yeah that's gonna be all for this video I uh, really hope you guys enjoyed. I'm trying to make this shit a little bit more enjoyable, but a little bit more safe for work because I know I am a complete asshole when it comes to recording these videos and I really don't care what the fuck I say. So I'm trying to be a bit more safe for work, but that's probably not going to fucking happen. So yeah, see ya.